Okay. Show me. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel for part three in my uh, Gap RC light quadcopter build. Now, if you're new to the series, uh, the objective here is to build a lightweight, nimble quadcopter. It's going to be a four inch quadcopter, meaning that it'll, ha it'll have uh, four inch propellers. And this is a 180 size quadcopter frame here. It is the Gap RC AX4 Airbus and um, like I said this is part 3. I've done an overview of the parts video and the second video was about this frame itself. In this video we'll be taking a look at the ESCs I'll be using. And that's this guy here. It's an integrated 4-in-1 a 20 amp ESC from Racerstar and it's the version 2 apparently BL Heli S ESCs and according to the specs they are D-Shot ready as well uh, you'd have to uh, upgrade uh, the or change out the firmware on them but that's a possibility um, so in this video I uh, hope to keep it short um, we'll be taking a close look at this uh, all-in-one uh, ESC, what it's capable of, what it's not capable of. Um, it's also, uh, it, it also should be able to act as a PDB, a power distribution board. And therefore the power distribution board that comes with the frame I will not be using. Okay, let's have a look at this ESC combo. And there it is. There is our 4 in 1 20 amp ESC version 2 from Racerstar. Like I said, BL Heli S firmware, and it already has its uh, battery lead soldered onto it. Now, the first thing I noticed was that these battery leads are on the thin side. Um, you tell me what you think, but to me they look uh, a bit thin. And I'll probably replace them with uh, slightly thicker wires. Okay, and on the outer perimeter you see uh, four outputs to the motors, of course, in uh, three uh, connector pairs, so to speak. At the front over here you see a white connector. Uh, which is for your uh, voltage out, 5 volt voltage out to power your flight controller and uh, it uh, takes the signal signals for, from the flight controller for your four motors and actually it comes with two wires, this one and uh, this one and um, both have uh, let's see, six uh, strands, so a positive and negative to power your flight controller and then four other wires for your signals, for your four signals. Now why do they provide you with two cables? Well, some flight controllers have a uh, counter connector for this um, uh, instead of pin headers, right? Most flight controllers come uh, with pin headers, uh, with this connector um, you can uh, have a, a very clean setup really no um, soldering required but again uh, most flight controllers do not come with that connector on them I suspect some Racer Star flight controllers come with that uh, connector I don't know but um, well actually I might use this cable uh, just take off the connector and solder up uh, these wires to my flight controller Okay, uh, let's see, yeah, the, the size of uh, the, this ESC all-in-one is the same uh, as a standard flight controller or PDB. This is the PDB that came with my frame and as you can see it's the same size uh, if you don't take this uh, XT60 connector into account. It's the same width and height. Then there's the next thing, uh, the motor out. Uh, let's assume for a second that this over here is the front, so your quadcopter will be flying that away. And that makes sense because most flight controllers have their motor output signal connectors at the front 
and this uh, all-in-one uh, ESC has its uh, input for that at the front as well. Right, that would work out. Uh, you'd have uh, your uh, battery connector to the side. Yeah, yeah. I'm not completely sure. Of course, you can rotate it 90 degrees. This is still our front over here. Yes. So this way you'd have the battery leads coming from uh, the rear of the ESCs. And uh, yeah, this way you'd have the input wires on the side. Mm, I'm not sure. I haven't actually decided how to mount it in, uh, in my frame. Now the weird thing is that um, the ESC outputs are numbered of course. And over here is... Uh, Output number three, here is four, two, one, and that's completely different from the motor order um, of clean flight and beta flight, right? On clean flight and beta flight, you'd have motor one over here to the lower right, motor two there, and motor three over here, and motor four over there. Um, so, again. This is the front. If I mount this all-in-one ESC like this, I'd have to rearrange things. Now that could be done by just uh, soldering the order of these wires differently to my uh, flight controller. Or I will uh, change that in the motor mix. Um, no, sorry, in the resource mapping. So I will uh, rearrange the motor uh, layout of my quadcopter. Um, if that doesn't make sense, um, once I've installed this uh, all-in-one ESC and my flight controller and my motors, I will probably shoot a short video uh, tutorial, so to speak, on how to change out the motor order. Um, I suspect that, especially if you want to reorientate your all-in-one ESC, not just this one, but maybe others, um, you might run into the same problem, 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 um, I have over here, that uh, the outputs of these ESCs don't match up with what uh, beta flight and clean flight things or, uh, the motor layout should be. So uh, actually let me know in the comment section below if you are interested in that to see uh, how to rearrange uh, the outputs in uh, beta, beta flight and clean flight. I'll do a video on that. Okay, let me show you what uh, the all-in-one ESC looks like in my frame. Okay, obviously I've uh, taken the upper structure of my frame off of it. Uh, this here is the rear of my quadcopter, this is the front, and as you can see the battery leads protrude out of the side of the quadcopter like this. This will work and there is a good chance I'll go with this solution. Um, the motor wires will uh, have good accessibility to these pads. Um, yeah. I would have liked to hide these solder points. These will be in view. Yeah, you can't have everything in life, I guess. Um, like I said, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll mount it this way, like so. Uh, this way the uh, signal connector wires will uh, be visible. But the solder points for my uh, motors won't be visible, they'll be tucked into the frame. And the battery lead will uh, protrude out of the rear of the quadcopter. That should work out. Yeah. Um, again, I have not decided yet. And um, as my quadcopter is uh, far from uh, being finished, I can't tell you anything about... Uh, its performance, the performance of the ESCs, you'll have to uh, wait uh, for my uh, first flights with the quadcopter to see uh, how well this works out. Like I said in the uh, first video of this uh, series, uh, I've heard good things about these uh, ESCs, so I'm pretty sure they will work out. And um, that's the end of uh, this here video. If you have questions, suggestions, please hit me up a comment down below. In the next video we will be bench testing the motors.
and propellers. Um, I've selected for this build. Uh, should be interesting because uh, it's a light quadcopter, or it's intended to be a light quadcopter. The motors are pretty small, so I hope they provide enough punch. But we'll see that in the next episode. Hold on for that. For now, I want to thank you for watching and hope to catch you on the next video. Bye bye.